What do you think a student should do with the opportunity and education offers in order to be ready to face this challenging world? Yeah. Um, you know, the students, here I sit with gray hair, but I remember it vividly, uh, being an undergrad here on campus. The students uh, have a tough go of it. They have a limited amount of time. I guess we all have a finite amount of time. And there are lots of things to spend time on. Uh, certainly class and labs and lectures and things like that are important. But you also have social events, uh, social interaction, sports, work. A lot of our students work mm -hmm. so that they can go to school. And, and so they have to parcel out their time uh, in a way that, um, you know, they can get the best bang for their, their time investment uh, buck, if you will. It's important for them, in my opinion, to, as early as practical, determine which area of concentration they're most interested in. Um, as an example, if you really want to be a journalist, you may not want to pursue a chemistry degree. You may, okay, but uh, find that degree or that area of concentration that you're most interested in. I would also encourage those students to reach out and find a mentor off campus, uh, someone, and preferably not a parent, that they can um, interact with, uh, someone that has knowledge in the area of, of specialty that they're pursuing. And I know in my particular case, that was very helpful for me. I was very interested in anthropology and the performing arts, but that wasn't my priority. My priority was engineering and physics. And so once you get that focus, stay laser focused on it, a, uh, a portion of your time as best you can. And, uh, and remember, uh, it seems like an eternity but if you're on a four-year program, it's, it's really only 36 months. So uh, that's what I told my children, and they were able to come through it uh, reasonably well. Yeah, I think they did all right. But they had a very good role model. Mm -hmm. And we're very grateful that we have the benefit of your wisdom. We're very proud of you as an alum of the university. And we're honored that as we celebrate 100 years in the College of Business, that we can look to you as the leader of an organization that's been an anchor in our state and now globally for your insights on the future of business, what we're doing as educators, and as a challenge for the next generation who hopefully will enjoy some of the success that you've enjoyed. Well, you know I'm proud of this university. I'm obviously linked to the engineering school and the business school, and uh, uh, there's nothing like uh, being a Mizzou alum. Uh, it's, uh, once, once you go to school here, you always have it. So. Once a tiger, always a tiger. Always. M-I-Z. Z-O-U.